In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to create a video like this. Ready? Let's get started. First of all, what I need to do is to have a Canva account. To make sure that the stability and to upload content is much more faster, I can totally suggest you to download the application of Canva so you can have this into your PC, into your MacBook, whatever. If you're using Canva into the browser, it might be taking a little bit of time to upload your stuff and the stability might not be so well. So for that, I'm going to be using Canva in the application downloaded inside my PC. Once you have access into Canva, let's create your account into the upper side and sign in. Just provide an email as well as a passcode. Once you now have access into Canva, which is totally for free, then we can start out with our very first design. Inside my dashboard, what I need to do, of course, is to browse through video templates if I clicked into video. Or you can just go into create a design. Inside here, you can focus directly into what kind of elements would you like to do. In our case, let's go for videos. I'm going to click here into videos. Inside the video, we can create a BD1080. We can create a mobile video, videos for Facebook, Instagram Reels, TikTok videos, YouTube videos, and much more. So for this particular tutorial, let's try with something really easy for YouTube. So if I click here, it says, what would you like to create? Let's go for YouTube. And here I have a template that I can just create uh, for my videos. So it go for YouTube video, uh, YouTube video chapter, for example. So I clicked here into 1080, 1920 by 1080. Automatically, it's going to be displaying my very first editor of Canva. Inside this editor, you can see that here we have the preview of what is going to be looking like my video. Down here is the thumbnail, the duration of my timeline. Into the upper side is going to be the editor of whatever I chose to edit. And into the left part, we can see elements, adding text, branding, upload your own stuff, drawing, project, application, and much more. If you don't know how to get started and you want to create a video with a current idea, I can totally just to try it out with some templates. Now, templates are elements that can help you to do it much more faster and just to focus into what matters the most, which is the content. So, for example, here I'm going to just go first of all, in down here where it says grid view. And into grid view, we have different chapters. So, in here, I have the number one. Let's go for enter of my video. Now, inside the section of the number two, let's say that I go for adding the content. And into number three, let's say thanks for watching. And there we go. I have now the intro, the content, and the number three, which is thanks for watching. So you can just add much more stuff. For example, myself talking, uh, what am I talking about, um, artificial intelligence versus technology in the 2020, whatever. So make sure that you have all the chapters here inside your camera app and then you double click back into one chapter so you can just impose your content. So here for the intro, let's say that I go for design and here I have some YouTube video. So let's say that I click here where it says welcome and check out that we have now this template that we can use totally for free. Welcome to my channel. If you don't like it or you want to try it out with something new, just click into one template that you liked the most and much more faster to use. Here's my intro of my video. Now let's go for the second number two, which is the content. Now into content, we can go into elements and into elements, since I don't have videos recorded, I'm going to add uh, stock material. So if we just search elements, let's say that I just add Paris and I go for videos, for example. And here I have one video that I can add. Here's video number two, uh, number three, number four, and much more. So just click into one that you kind of like. You can just give it a format. So I just drag and drop like this and check it out how everything is inside my chapter. So I came from this into this. So I can change now this for, let's say, only three seconds. And if you wanted to add a chapter between one specific element, just click here and go for add a page. Now into add a page, I'm going to add a new video and redrag like this. And there we go. So I'm going to just make this a little bit much more like seven seconds. And there we go. Now I'm going to add a few transitions. Transitions can be helping me, of course, to change between one chapter to another and to make this much more uh, faster. So if I just put my mouse into the center, which is add transition, I can click here and I have different transitions that I can add. I have the slide. Here's the line wipe, the color wipe, circle wipe and much more. 
let's try it out with something easy, for example, the flow code. And the duration, let's go for one second. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the rest of my transitions. So I just click in the, I just go for add transition, go for flow, and go for one second. Now I'm gonna add some text. Inside here, explore to, uh, inside Paris. Inside here, where it says explore Paris into the second uh, slide, I'm gonna go and adding a new text. So here into element, I can go for text and look for lower third, for example. If you go for a font combination, you can make this shorter, bigger, or smaller. Now that I have here my text, well, of course, I can give them some animation. Remember that you have here into the upper side, here this content that we can just use to edit what we have just clicked in the. So let's go here for effects. And you can change the effects of your title, for example, lifting, outline, splice, hollow, and much more. So I'm gonna just use the lift with my white color and make a quick animation. So here, for example, here is a neon color, thumbnail, drafting, and much more. Let's go and adding for brief. And into elements, I click into logo third, graphics. And into graphics, we can see that we have this kind of lower thirds that they currently use for videos like this. So for example, just add this quick to animation. I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter. And here, I'm gonna add a text, add a heading. And here, let's say that I go for, I don't know, October the 1st, 2024. So I just make this shorter. I'm gonna change my color and I'm gonna track this at the bottom of my lowest thud. Now that I have my content, I wanted to make sure that this one is looking great when I check out between next pages. So as you can see, here's my page number one, page number two. Let's go now for the outro. So into thanks for watching, I'm gonna delete this element. I'm gonna go for Paris once again. And I'm gonna put these elements into the upper side, for example, like this. Lastly, what I need to do is just to add a few um, music. So if I go here for elements, instead of going for Paris, let's go for lo-fi music, for example. And I go and change this from audio. Into audio, let's say that I clicked into one, and I just drag and drop at the very first part of my video. If I double click, I can redirect the music where I want it to be started. If you choose the option that says beat synced, the sync of my page and my element will be automatically timed to the music. And you can see where are uh, the beat markets appearing there. Once you've finished with it, let's go for music. I'm gonna make this a little bit with less sound. And there we go. Now, what I need to do is to review it here into the section that says preview. So I click into preview and I review my video so far. Once I finish with this process, I can close it and hit now into share. Make sure, of course, that you have added everything that the video needed. So you have the music, here is the library, I have the element, there are transitions, there are animation, there are text. Everything is looking good so far. So if you need a voiceover, for example, you can click now into uploads and record yourself. Recording yourself can be helping you to add um, a voice, let's say your vocal, um, yourself in the camera, whatever. In my case, it just won't let me because we are already recording a video uh, with the same PC, but you can just go ahead and record your elements. So automatically, all of this stuff will be imported directly here, and you can just redrag and drop elements that you do or you don't want it to see. Lastly, before you export, of course, you want to click into play button to watch your video from start to finish and make any final adjustments. When you're happy, let's go into show, let's go into download, and choose mp4 file type now into the quality let's go in 1080 because this is for youtube video i select all the pages make sure that you have just enabled all the pages and disable the download pages and separated files because everything should be just in one video i hit into download and my video should now be exported with all the elements that we could just discover here into canva now i go into double click to check out my video
there we go. This is how Canva works for creating videos into the intuitive editing elements. That's it. You have created a video using Canva. So if you find this story helpful, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more designs and video tips. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully we can all see you next time.